So hello, we are going to have a practice visa interview while waiting for the time. I'll have the visa interview at 12.45 together with my J2. And it's still 8.30 in the morning, so I'm going to have Jeopardies. So these are the possible questions and my answer for the question. So when you are going to ask, where are you going to the U.S.? So you are going to uh, have a specific answer based on your DS 2019. So it would be, I'm going to North Carolina. And if you are going to be asked, the exact address, so that would be seen from the um, DS 2019 and your contract. So for me, uh, it is located at Old Dallas, North Carolina, Loop Road, Dallas, North Carolina. What is your degree? Well, here you might probably um, have difficulty in answering because some of you might have not finished the course for the PhD and you have um, answered in the DS 160 only master's degree so it would not matter so for me I'm going to answer I have a BA degree with master's degree even though I have the PhD I did not declare that to my DS I will declare that soon if I'm going to finish now my um, PhD and well anyway the north carolina did not look that master's degree uh, phd degree or master's degree for my salary only for the experience because they have a law about the the time you finish that master or phd degree it should be started on uh, august 2013 or finished August 2013 and how much is your salary and um, for example uh, I'm going to receive 156,000 US dollars for three years or $52,000 for a year or annually I base that on my DS 2019 also um, are you familiar with the two-year rule so please read your program so you just answer yes to that and can you explain to me the policy uh, what does the policy requires the two-year rule so I'm going to say that it means that I will return to my home country for at least two years after the program has been completed so that is the meaning of a two-year rule then in while going to US, you are US embassy, you are to be given a pamphlet. So the consul the consul will um, ask you, do you have this? And you will say yes. Okay, that is the right. Your right when you go to the US. And what will you do there? I'm going to teach the grade three learners of Costner Elementary School as part of the culture exchange program that would be the answer what will you do after the program then I'm going to say I'm going to return to the Philippines to and share the knowledge and culture I've learned in the US okay and then do you have an immediate family you say just say yes or no for that my answer would be no um do you have a relatives i will still answer no and if you have the relative you are going to to be asked by this question do you intend to apply one in the future do you just say no okay what it means is the visa okay the the visa that your relative has then what's your work I will uh, I work as an elementary teacher here in the Philippines what grade and subjects are you going to teach I'll teach the course subjects of 
the grade 3 learners at Costner Elementary School. Um, what state? It's the North Carolina. The years of experience, I'll just answer. Um, I have 18 years of teaching experience. And it should be based from your DS-160 and also in the contract because prior to the job offer, you have been selected okay, because of your experience. And that was also stated in the contract. So you are going to base your answer from there and be always specific. Okay. And who is your sponsor? My sponsor is, I do not just say the acronym. You say the name for that acronym. So I would say my sponsor is Educational Partners International or EPI. Okay. And then do you have any criminal history? And I will say no. And also, um, your J2 would be probably um, asked something. Okay, Some of the teachers who already finished in their visa interview was asked, their J2 was asked about um, what are you going to do there? And they will answer, I'm going to support my spouse um, during the program. And uh, do you have a relatives? Then say no or yes. Are you intend to work there? Just be um, true. And to be safe, you will just answer no for that question. And then um, sometimes the consul will ask for the marriage contract. So just be prepared for the marriage contract. So those were probably the questions that will be asked by the consul and there are still um, questions to be asked you just studied that DS 2019 and your contract